Okay, Let's see if this is going to work today. Right, I am winging this. Oh, by the way, hello everybody. <laughs> I've had such a weird day today. Um, I've been working from home as usual, and uh, normal problems with the neighbour downstairs, just having no consideration. So, ah, it's a bit music ought to drown her out. Anyway, that's not what the point of this is. Uh, this is not the point of why I'm saying this. So, I. I went to the toilet, as you do, and the toilet was making a weird noise. So I thought, well, what could that be? So I thought, my dad, and just says some... How many weird noises coming from my toilet? I'm hearing weird noises from my toilet. So what could that be? He says, oh, there must be air in, air in the pipes. Okay. He goes, should I do anything? Is there anything I can do? He goes, no, just flush it a couple of times. I might fix it. So I went out for my lunch, came back, and... I heard a lot of hammering and drilling going on. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I went upstairs, I uh, went to wash my hands after going to Asda to buy some stuff, and my water was not working, which is always fun. So I went downstairs and found out that the idiot, the, the idiot, I should say, that owns the bottom floor had turned off the water to the whole building. It was not fine. So it's been a mad rush trying to get this stuff done after work, to be honest. Because normally on my lunch break, I quickly get like I kind of list of what I want to do done. I normally do this when I'm walking. I think it up. When I get back, I write it down. Hello, hello, hello. It wasn't the ghoulies. <laughs> so yeah, I was supposed to get this all ready. And you I mean have something prepared for today? But if you don't know, if you don't know me by now, I wing everything. I wing it. I never really have a list. I, I think of things I want to play, and then it never works. So I just go onto the Mega normally. Uh so yeah, <laughs> so it's been a weird day, but the water is now working, so I can have a shower later on. Hopefully you don't smell me through this, because it's absolutely roasting up here. What was the weather? The weather said it was it's 18 degrees, which is, some people might say that's nothing. That's bloody good for Scotland. But you don't, uh, couldn't think of anything else to do, so I'm going to stream tonight. Cool, man. Are you going to start just now, or are you going to hold off for a bit? And watch some of the crap I'm going to put on. <laughs> now, there might be flickering here. For some reason, I'm using Spectaculator from a Spectrum. I am going to link up my actual Spectrum at some point to this. Uh, but at the moment, I can't be bothered. So I'm going to go back in the Spectrum. There might be a quick flicker. I don't know why it does it, but on my screen, it flickers. Let me know if you see any flickering in three, two, one. No, no flickering this time. Okay, and now it's, it's, it's actually working fine. Oh, you're going nine o'clock. Cool. Yeah, I was going to say, Beardo, you normally start before me. You normally start and then end roughly about when I start. Yeah, that's right. You would have raided me by now. <laughs> well, I don't know how much people watch my streams, to be honest. Uh, my Streamlabs tells me there's one viewer, but it always says there's one viewer. Um, on Thursday, I had at least four people and it still said one viewer. I don't know how it works. So what I'll do is, if I remember, at 9 o'clock... Uh, I will probably finish in about half nine tonight, uh, unless things go really well. I will raid you for once, even if it's just myself. Because <laughs> I have to repay the debt that you've been raiding me at least four or five times, and I haven't raided you yet. Because I don't think you've been on when I've been on. So I'm going to do that. Because I have to. It's, it's, it's my policy. If somebody raids me, I have to raid them. Because it's, it's not fair to be one-sided, and I appreciate everybody that does raid me. Yeah, I don't know why. It says I've got two viewers now, so <clears throat> I don't know if that means there is actual two or if I mean, it always says one. I think I'm counted as one. So if it's if I'm counted as one, then <laughs> a lot of my streams are just me. <laughs> but I am quite new to this. I am quite new to this. I've only been like, I used to DJ on Twitch uh, every so often, and not a lot of people <laughs> raid friends. <laughs> I'm not going to do that in an in betweeners voice, by the way. Or should I? Let, let's go first. Great friends! Oh. <laughs> Where? 7 o'clock. What time is it just now? Yeah, I said 5-10 minutes, Mikey. I'm right. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm only kidding. So, I, I thought I'd start off with the Spectrum. Now, the way my Streamlabs is set up is I have different canvases or different platforms but what I've noticed is when I jump between them my camera stops and it has to reactivate and sometimes when it does reactivate 
Uh, see if I can do this. This is all back to front. This bit here goes over to there. So what I've done is done is done is what I've done is what I have done uh, <laughs> is I've got a PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, and play and uh, PlayStation Three. Oh my God! ZX Spectrum into one scene, so I can flick between them. So if I do flick between them and you don't see anything, let me know because I might have clicked on the wrong one. Nothing's been key mapped or anything. So, I'm going to put some Spectrum games on. I don't know what games I want to play, to be honest. I, I have not thought this through. I had to literally just connect this up like five minutes before I started streaming. So, I know it worked because you mean that, oh, that side, that is showing, hopefully. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my games and find out what we have. I think I've got most Spectrum games, but I'm sure somebody will tell me otherwise. And I don't know if SQ Ron is online just now, but I'm sure he'll give me something that I don't have. He's very good at finding things I don't have. So, I think the first thing is I need to find a game that I actually like on the Spectrum that I can still play. So, uh, you know what? It's been that long since I've played a Spectrum that I can't even remember what games I used to like playing on it. We'll go for Renegade. Let's go for let's go for Renegade. Let me know if you can hear the volume when it comes on. I said I haven't tested this, but it should hopefully should hopefully start playing music. Hopefully you can hear that. Now I can hear that because I have not put this into my oh shit. I have not put this into my actual headset. So one sec, I'm just going to change this. You're probably hearing double music just now. It, that's default. Now then the music's changed, so what I'm going to do is... But I think I've buggered this up. There's always that one thing, there's always that one thing I forget to do. And this will be it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can change this to this one. There we go. I am master. Not a beater. Or if somebody says it, because that's Mike in the line. That's why I said Mikey said. So. <laughs> right, so we have uh, Renegade hopefully playing now. Now, it, there's a bit of a jump there because when I have to go back into the Spectrum emulator, it seems to cut off everything. This is such a good game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find the keys. So, let's go left, right. Ah, crap, did that wrong. Zero, let's define them again. Left, right, down, up. Hit, and we'll do H for pause. H is always good. Now, I have not played this in a very long time, so I'm going to be shit, but here we go. So the first thing you do is, ah oh crap, is kill these dudes. What you can do now is you basically take care of these guys. But what you do is you, you get them down to one energy. So we need to get this guy. Now here's some stuff you can do. You can if you get this right, you can actually knock him over the edge. Like so. <laughs> so what I need to do now is um, get this guy over to the other side. Then we can beat the shit out of basically. There. Oh shit, knock this out. Ah, it's been so long since I've played this game. Not the way I remember doing this, but... That's how you get through this level very quickly. Mikey, I think you played this game, haven't you? If you have played this, that's how you do the first level. <laughs> now, this is where things get annoying, because what I've got to do is... Get this right. Damn it. Damn 
So you gotta be like really perfect with this. So then the next one will come. So what we need to do is get out of its way. There we go. That did too quick. Oh, where is the bike? Oh, I found a bug in the game. Because I can't do anything until that bike comes back. Oh well. We can't do anything until the timer runs out. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, that's how you complete the first level. Uh, sorry, I'm pointing at the screen. Point there. Point here. That's how you complete the first level. And as you can see, we can't do shit now because the game has somehow bugged out. So, uh, 56 seconds of awesome music, and then we'll try that again. Hopefully. You know, I have this game on Spectrum, and I didn't know that you could actually throw people over your shoulder. Because I used to have a Spectrum 48k, and I didn't realise that if you had a 128k, you could throw people over your shoulder, because you had that extra memory to do that. Which I thought was really cool. And I only found this out a couple of years ago. So, we've got 11 seconds, and then I can do this again. Hopefully. <coughs> Not sure. I'll take a drink before we go back on. Right, let's try this again. There we go, we should get dudes coming out now. So, usual, take out the big dudes first. Down a bit. And we have another two over here. Right, so take care of these dudes. Right, so what we've done is we've taken care of them. I have got infinite energy. I have not put a trainer on, by the way. I think this game's bugged out, like, but I'm not complaining. Ah, shit! <laughs> hey, Code Master, how you doing? Sorry about my swear. I thought I was invincible there. You see that? I had no energy and uh, kicking some ass. So what we're going to do is knock out some of these dudes. So, 
You always take out the guys with the batons first. So they're the ones that take most of your energy. So what now we've got to do is, we've got to basically try to knock all these guys down as quick as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them over here. And I think we're going to knock one of them over the edge. That's always fun. And we're done. Two more. And this dude. So what we've got is one, two, three, four left of the boss. So I can hopefully do this. I can never remember how to do this. You can actually do that. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> We're going to make this. We're so going to make this. Even if I have to keep doing this. Shit. Ah. Ah. Yay! There we go! That's level 2 done. I've got no life left. <laughs> now, one of them crashed. Now, I love this level, because you got girls with whips. Fearing. What else can I say? But, uh, <laughs> the boss is awesome. Once you get, I think it's a woman boss? <laughs> so what we need to do is try to remember which ones we have taken care of. I need to get this one down here. And this one. Oh shit. Again, you can knock yourself out if you hit the wall. Shit. Shit, this is the bit I hate because you've got to watch what you do with this boss. Because they'll do that basically, they'll run at you, he, runs, he or she runs at you. So what you need to do is take care of these other ones without getting knocked over by this idiot. Who is me? <laughs> nah, not gonna make it. So, no, it's, it, it did, uh, Quidmaster, thank you. It's uh, even a, a quick um, walking. Do you know what I mean? That's great for me, because uh, it means people love me, even for that couple of minutes. <laughs> hey, there we go. So that's Renegade. Now, I have completed Renegade, and I remember completing it when I was like, god, eight or nine years old? And that was a long time ago. Sorry, it's absolutely gross in here, by the way. If you see me going like that, it's just my hands are sweaty. So, uh, what else have we got? Yeah, so I completed this game when I was really young, but I remember the last level, I, 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 got, I thought, oh yes, I got to the final level. You're inside a house, there's a guy, big, there's a big dude, or I think he's a big dude, or maybe it's a normal sized dude. Anyway, the point is, he looked quite cool, and there's all these hitmen kind of guys. I'm like, oh nice, so started uh, knocking them over. Didn't do the usual, kill the, the, the main ones first, if there was that. The likelihood is they've all, they're all the same in the last level. And then the boss came down, and I thought, oh, I'll take care of him once I can uh, kill all the other folk. Uh, what actually happened was he fired a gun at me, and the gun hits you, the bullet hits you and kills you instantly. So I lost all my lives before I completed it. So I had to go through the game again to do that, and then I had to watch out for his gun at the same time. But it's been a very long time since I've last played that. So, uh, do, do, do. I'm just going through the games just now to see what we've got. You know what I'll do? I'll reset this. So you can actually see the, the amazing spectrum loading error and loading menu system. So uh, I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, 
PC's not going ballistic. It's been so warm in Scotland uh, this week, uh, for what we're not used to, and my PC has been going nuts. Like, its fans are going nuts all the time. Uh, I was talking to my boss about that, and he's like, yeah, his is the same. I think it's the, the higher you go with the CPUs, and uh, like the newer they are, the easier it is it for them to make a lot of noise. I mean, not the CPU as such, but the actual fans. Because you need more fan power for the new CPUs. I've got a 9900K, i9. And that thing's a pain in the arse. You know I mean, like, when I, um, whenever I do some video work for, like, this channel, like, or I'm testing out new stuff that I'm going to be putting onto my channel, but you have to render the stuff as video, that PC goes apeshit. I mean, I've never heard, I've never had a PC that the fans have went nuts, unless they're playing a game like Crisis back in the day. And then the fans would go nuts on the GPU instead. So, let's see what else. You know what? I'm just going to put on Batman. I love Batman. The game, that is. There, let's do the usual. Now, I never complete this first mission straight away. Ever. But we'll give it a shot. Oh, come on, okay. Man, my energy's half gone already. Did you ever notice the guy that throws the bomb in this game? He looks like a, a moustached, uh, not cloud, strongman. Oh, there's nobody there this time. H, wasn't it for yeah pause I'm gonna see if I can show you this guy oh crap look up he looks like a strong man with a mustache or I think he does now I do have a filter on this game uh, or on the spectrum to make it look like a TV because I, I don't like it being sharp I like the kind of fuzziness it came with uh, having spectrum now I'm gonna to try to get out of this aha Paranoid with this game because it's slightly different from the Mega version, and I've played the Mega Death and uh, Mega version to death. To be honest, it's, it's, it's nearly the same layout. It's just certain things are not where they should be. I like the pipes. something really stupid here. Ah shit. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to swing over. The Mega version you can actually swing over. Oh well, we're halfway. Come the, so the, the wall actually hit me even though I was nowhere near that wall. Right. Okay. Let's get on with this. Uh, I think if 
I go this way? He can't swing! I don't think I've ever completed this mission first time. What you do is you just go like this, and then hope for the best that happens. <laughs> she knows. Really, she knows. I'm not gonna rage quit for anybody says that. Right, that always happens. And you can you can throw the batarang up and hit the guy in the Mega version, but I'm not sure if this game has that kind of kind of collision detection as such. It might be. I'm just so used to the Amiga version then. Well, that's my excuse anyway. If I complete this mission, I will be well chuffed. Hey, I'm gonna jump down here and see what happens. There we go. Got him. Yeah, I'm not going to try to dick about too much in this one. I'm going to do too much of that. Only taken three lives. So. <laughs> now this is completely different from the Mega version. Uh, I have to remember how to play this actually. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how you, you get your battle right out. So long since I played this. <laughs> Not doing very well. Eh, it happens. Hey, I got one of them. It's all coming back to me.
<laughs> Shit. I apologize for all the swear. I do actually. That's who I am. <laughs> oh come on! It's like they, they're wanting to be hit. Yeah, we're not gonna be in this mission. This is a bit that's really hard. So we need to find the code. So one of these. Okay, so it must be the lipstick. stick. So, so that, that, and that. Sounds like somebody's downstairs. Right. On the spectrum. Yeah, at the moment um, I'm just emulating Spectrum. I mean, I, I was going to plug up everything, but I find like the Spectrum shouldn't be a problem with Elgato. Yeah, put it through an OSSC, but when you put like a, a Spectrum, a Spectrum, a PlayStation Two through it, pardon me, it changes resolutions, and that kills the uh, connection to the Elgato, or it kills the Gato Two. OBS. Sorry, that's not a lie. Sorry, I'm getting myself confused here. Either that or it gets the Elgato to 
Streamlabs, the connection stops and you just get a black screen and you've got to uh, disconnect and then re-enable re it. Which makes absolutely no sense. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why that would be a problem. I mean, it should automatically know it's still showing a signal, but it seems to stop doing that. And until uh, Streamlabs adds an option to continually, continually check, it's going to be a problem to stream like a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 1. I noticed that does it as well. Like if you play a PlayStation 1, you reset, it won't show you the screen again for the PlayStation until you re-enable, as in disconnect and enable. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not actually using my, spe my Spectrum just now. I mean, the Spectrum should be fine. It really should. But the PlayStation 1 and 2, that's why I stopped doing that. Uh, my PlayStation had a problem. I've just bought a second one. It's just over there. It's working fine, but it's not chipped, so I can only play the games I own, which yes, that's all I really have left over anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to start em, uh, not emulating. I'd like to start um, in the actual proper um, consoles at some point, but I might have to look and see if I can get something else. I've got another. I can't remember where I put. I've got another converter. It's a thing I got on Amazon. It's quite cheap, but it doesn't do four point three. It puts everything into sixteen point nine, which it's not what I want. I want to show it as it should be. It should be four point three. So yeah, at the moment uh, I haven't. Right back to showing my actual consoles because I need to figure out a better way of doing it. Um, it seems like I could put my PlayStation 3, 4 or 5 through through uh, OBS and OBS through Elgato. But the connection between the Elgato and Streamlabs, it just every time you reset, you'd have to disconnect and re-edit and enable it. It's just shit, to be honest. It's shit that you have to do that. There you go, that's Batman. Uh, I do have a filter on it to make it look like a normal TV. So let's reset that. Uh, let's see. Oh, did that did that reset or did it crash? I think it's crashed. Nope, it's just taking its time to think. <laughs> so what you're saying is I've done a good job. That's what you're saying. I've done a very good job in getting this to look like the, the way it should such. Is the music too loud? Okay, what I can do is I can I can put that down now. I have to do this. There might be a slight flicker there. Um, but my desktop, my 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 Yeti is set at zero, and my desktop audio is set at minus five. So what I'll do is, I'll put it down to minus ten, ish. And what we'll do is let's just put some music on so you can tell me if this is better or not. The thing is, I personally don't want to hear myself. I'd rather just play the games, and if you hear me, you hear me. But I understand, I mean, if the music's too loud, it can be a bit disorientating for certain people. Not yourself, maybe, but uh, for some people. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and see if I can find, find something that... Uh, see if I can find something that's got music in it. I've got so much stuff in here. You know, I've got two different folders as well. I've got my emulated stuff, and then I've got my like why it owned, and I've got, like, um, my Spectrum games. I actually, um, I didn't convert the Spectrum games, you know what I mean? But I found everything I owned and got files and kept them somewhere else. But I don't remember where it is to be honest, because I've got four hard drives. So what we'll do is we'll just put on something uh, for music wise. Uh, you know what? Let's put on the demo. Let's see if this plays. Uh, let's try doing this. I've got to change it to a pentagon, apparently. Let's forward a bit. So what to do is let let me know if this sounds better. If the music's too loud. Let me know, and I'll I'll change it again. For anybody that has an Amiga, or had an Amiga, one of my favourite uh, public domain uh, demos, or what they call them, the... Uh, I can't remember the name. Basically, they make up demos like this. This is actually somebody who's made the, remade the music for Desert Dreams on the Spectrum. It's 
Rick Ellis factory space. Here we go. Still a little too loud. Okay. What I'll do is I'll see if I can change that. Alright, I just need to come in and go out. Is that bear? Put it down to minus 22. Or am I too loud? Oh, it's pretty quiet. 14? Does that sound better? That's about halfway between. It was. Okay, that's that okay? Listen, I, I haven't actually saved anything. I, I was going to like uh, do a, a test record and see how everything was, but. Last minute guy. That's, that's me. <laughs> so, well, I'm just going to go back. It might just quickly flicker. Evolution. I think they've done a brilliant job in converting an Amiga song into the Spectrum. Have you seen the Desert Dreams demo on the Amiga, Beardo? If you ever get the chance, get yourself Win UAE. Yeah. And get yourself the demo of Desert Dreams. It's just an interactive kind of art demo. Really good. The music's brilliant. I mean, I could put it on if you want to see, if you want to hear it. It's my favourite bit. Working fine, so let's reset. Uh, I don't want to, it's put into a Pentagon apparently. I don't want that. I want to go back to one two eight k. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what else I've got. I mean, if you got any Spectre games you want to see, or any games you liked, I mean, I can't can't say I'm going to be any good at them because uh, I can't even play Batman now. There's so many games I used to play as well, but it's trying to remember all of them. I mean, I could put like hostages, but I don't know. Should I put on hostages? I've put that on an Amiga before. Try hostages. Yeah, this is. I could put on Robocop in a minute if you want. There you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Spectrum. Spectrum's kind of an acquired taste. Why is it not? Let me push anything. There we go. Let's find the keyboard. So, what I used to be is um, I used to be um, right as O, left as uh, I. Down is A, up is Q, and fire is P. Before that, I was uh, Q A O P space, but I find having the fire button next to your left and right is a lot easier now. And uh, we'll do M for map. Yes. Now, as I said, I'm not going to be any good at this because the Spectrum games have got some really, really bad um, collision detection. So. Mission is always, I'm not going to read it like that, but it's basically get yourself to the points of the map uh, for your snipers. So this is the first part of the game, you've got to uh, position your snipers. So you've got to evade spotlights from the enemy terrorists. So, we're now Delta. So we have to basically get around here without getting seen.
Like so. <sighs> Lucky. Yeah. You know what? I saw the Amstrad on Zypho's um, channel about a week ago, and it's not bad actually. They've got a lot cooler kind of parts to it. I mean, it's in colour as well, but they've got a really cool, like when the, the effect comes down, when you start the game, it kind of, it kind of goes and then comes down. Well, on the spectrum, spectrum it kind of just goes, eh. So it's pretty cool to see they actually put a little bit of effort into that part at least. Right, so let's get on with this. So. So what we need to do is find out roughly where we are. So if we go back into the map, uh, was it M, wasn't it? There we go. So we've went too far. So what I can do is I can move him to the next position and then go back. Good. Get again. Let's see if he's in this position. Yeah, he's in position, so we can go. How do you do this again? There's a way of changing your character. I can't remember what the buttons are. Enter, space, M. I'm pushing all the buttons, so I can't remember what button it is to change your. Uh... There's a button you can push basically to change between your guys. So, it's supposed to be N for map, isn't it? Enter. I'm going to definitely push a button here that's going to be the wrong thing. Oh, go back. No, go back. <laughs> so, I can't remember how to change between the characters. Funny thing is, I've got the Spectrum through, game through the actual room, so I could probably get the, the manual out. Um. Right, so I'm pushing every button that I know of, and nothing seems to be working. So, I'm going in with fire, but it won't let me change to the other guys, for some reason. I'm not sure what to do, to be honest. Because it only asks me to define left, right, up, down, that kind of stuff. Um, you know what? I'm going to go quickly on the internet and find out what the controls are. You know I'm winging this. I've got an excuse. <laughs> right, let's see. What I'm doing is I'm just, you know, if you can see that, I'm basically going into uh, the hostages wiki just to find out. So we're on stage one, which is the sniper one. You know what? I don't think this is, this is showing you more than just the spectrum. No, it's strange. Right, let's see controls. Controls. So, view the map. Uh, we are looking for the spectrum. It's not telling me anything about the spectrum. Only the NES. Well, although I'm not figuring out what to do, you're going to hear awesome spectrum music. What I'm doing is I'm just going to go to the world of Spectrum, then maybe have um, more kind of information. Magazines, books, demos. Uh, bad news is I don't know what the button is. I've just pushed literally every key that I know of on this bloody thing. 
and I mean if you're if you're doing the keys that you would use in the game then it should have done something, if you know what I mean. Can't seem to go to the other folk. Oh shit. What did I do? I just did something there. I think I might have just crashed the spectrum. Hey, we're back. Never push the F keys, because as I keep forgetting, the spectrum doesn't have F keys. So I've literally just pushed every key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to reload it. Sorry about that. Like I said, there's nothing really I can do about that, because I don't know the keys. to wait for this to finish. So let's define the keys again. And I'm going to read it this time. So right, left, down, up, fire, menu and map. I'm going to change that to space. See if that gives me maybe a bit more uh, Hopefully, it gives more more uh, kind of options. Yeah, let's just stick with that. Right, so we're now delta. If I push space now, nothing happens. Right, so let's get him to the first part at least, and then take it from there. So it looks like for some reason this is the first part. So we are. Oh, we're not there. Okay, it's the next part. So I think it's here. Okay, so how do I. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. No button seems to move me on to the next person for some reason. Map button doesn't do anything. Yeah, doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything. Okay, I'm sorry guys, but I might have to just finish this game because I've literally pushed every key that would be on a spectrum and nothing seems to be working. What should happen is you should be able to change your character. Uh, now that's me pushed every key again. Unless I have to hold down maybe a couple of keys. Right, what we'll do is we'll kill everybody but one. See if that gets us onto the next level at least. I wonder if this could be a Spectrum 128k problem. So we killed him. What we'll do is we'll kill one of the other ones and then we'll have one left. Why is it not? It's not letting me go to the next one for some reason. No, nah, it's not letting me go. You, you should be able to push like one, two, three, four uh, to change your characters. I mean, the, the Spectrum doesn't have F keys, so that would be a problem. Um, one thing I can do as well is I'll quickly go and check my controls just in case I might have this. Might have it in the wrong setting, maybe. Check that. Just just in case, you mean? Keyboard. Oh, okay. It says here the ZX. Uh, so the keyboard of the later ZX Spectrums have slightly been altered to earlier ones. Uh, choose which one you want to emulate. I've put into issue three keyboard, I'll put it in issue two, see if that makes a difference. <laughs> no, it doesn't make a difference. I can't seem to change the uh 
got to see if they change the uh, the way it's working. Maybe something for me to check later on, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Try that. No. Doesn't seem to... Oh! What happened there? It changed. Unless that was just... Was that me? So that's Echo. That's who we're wanting to go into. But at the same time, we don't want to go into Echo just now. No, I've pushed all the keys again. I think what's happened is it just timed out and went on to the next one. Unless that's what we have to do is just wait for it to change. Oh, I'll give up on this game. Sorry, I would like to. I would have loved to have shown you. It's a really good game when when you get into it. Um, so let's try another game, and then I think after this I'm going to jump onto the PlayStation One or Two. Now, the PlayStation One, I only have the games that I owned as I ripped them. So if you like to see any PlayStation One games, probably not Tomb Raider for me because I did that last week. Uh, if there's anything else you'd want to see, uh, give us a shout and in the comments and see what we can put on. Sorry, I can't stop burping now. So I would put on Jetpack, but I think everybody's seen Jetpack before. I really want to find something that nobody's heard of or a game that I remember but most people wouldn't remember. Broadland? Broadland's a game that some people have been playing on uh, Switch, but they've been playing on the Amiga or uh, Arcade. <laughs> Tony Hawks. You know what? I think I might have Tony Hawks on PlayStation 2. But because it's all emulated, I have to basically watch out because I'm not 100% sure if everything's going to be 100% okay. No games like Tekken, they don't emulate unless you put it into a uh, software mode, which means it looks like shit. But hardware more mode, you can put all the effects, make it look nicer and all that. But I'll look for, I'll look for Tony Hawk's. Uh, the only thing we've got to watch out for is the music, because the music will be copyrighted. And I'm, I know I put this up onto YouTube, which means that it might get taken down because of that. So maybe that's another thing to watch out for. If I'm going to put something on, let's try to find something that doesn't have like proper music in it, like chart music. Right, let's put on Robocop. Robocop. Because you did ask for Robocop, didn't you? <laughs> or it's the one you remember. Right, so we need right, left, down, up. Fire and H for hold. Would you like to hear a bit of the music or do you want me just to start the game? I don't mind listening to this music. I'm not sure if my chat is running slow or not as well because it, it does sometimes feel like it's running slow. That's <laughs> cool, man. So you eating to be prepared for your stream later on, is it? We've got another hour and a half, by the way. This is great music. Oh, pineapple? I, I'm i one of the few that likes pineapple pizza. I like most pizzas, to be honest. Just cheese. So I found out I'm one follower away from having 50 followers. The only problem I've got is not a lot of people come on anymore. I'm starting to think maybe a Wednesday might not be the best uh, time to, to come on to this. So I might change it to maybe like a Friday. I think most people are out on a Wednesday. Right. Here you go.
I, I have not played this game in a very long time, so I'll just say my usual. I'm not going to be very good at it. Oh! I'm pushing the wrong keys as well, which doesn't help. Something's happening. Ah, oh, how you doing? If I remember correctly, you're Beardo's girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember who everybody is, to be honest, because I'm not very good at remembering who's who. So it's. Uh, I'm gonna get this completely wrong. It's uh, girl. It's a girl. Afraid. Sorry, it's, it's came off the screen now, so I can't see it anymore. Oh, oh come on! I pushed. I pushed to move there, and it didn't move. Could be another chainsaw dude coming in a minute. I think. Ah crap. What I need to do is I need to get over this way. Run out of bullets. Uh, oh, you got me on the telly, and I can. Hear, I've just heard that you were one follower away from. Yep. Yeah, I was. Now, there's actually something you can do here. Oh, I've got, I've got ammo. Why is he not using ammo? So, apparently, in the Amstrad version, you can actually walk through the whole level without getting uh, shot. And the Spectrum, apparently, you can do it as well, but Zypho found out it's a little bit harder to do, so I was going to try it there, but yeah, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much for being my 50th follower. I would say there'd be a prize, but I don't think there's going to be a prize. <laughs> I'm not doing very good in this game. I'm roasting just now. I got me. I'm, I'm finding it hard to uh, concentrate. <laughs> it's absolutely roasting in here. And if I open the window, you'll just hear traffic and dogs barking and the usual living down at the beach stuff. What I'll do is, if I die again, I'll go back and uh, try again. Because this is a very good game. Either I'm doing really bad or my keyboard is not responding to what I'm telling it to do. <laughs> the Spectrum games are notorious though for not doing what you tell them to do. I mean I always put it down to the rubber keyboard. It's a pain in the arse. I was pushing left there and nothing happened. So what's my favourite system? Um, probably the Amiga. I've got a, a 
soft spot for the Spectrum because I was brought up on the Spectrum. The Amiga was more of a luxury. Shit. That should have killed them. Normally it's one bullet for them dudes when you've got that gun. Damn it. Run out of ammo again. I have to run for it. Nah, we're dead. Oh, no, we're not. We're still alive. I've crashed it! I've crashed the game! I've crashed the game! Nice! We can't die. Let's see if we can beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've crashed the game. Nice! Yeah. Oh well. I think this is enough of the Spectrum <laughs> if it's going to keep doing this. I did wonder if my Spectacular has been playing up because I noticed with the... Uh... Yeah, we can't kill that dude anyway. So, let's just reset this. So, I noticed that when I was playing Renegade, my guy wouldn't die. No, wait, he did die, but it took like another like 10 hits before he died, even though his bar went down. So... This might be a Windows 10 bug with Spectacular because the last time I really used Spectacular was Windows 7. So that's very strange. Also, I, you know what it could be? I just figured out what it is. I switched the model to the ZX Spectrum 128K. I want a 128K plus 28 and I normally put it on 128K plus 28 mode, which is the black case. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. Because the Spectrum 128K is a different machine from the 128K plus 2A. Is the 128K plus 2A, uh, I'll show you actually just now. If you look at the bottom, it says there 1986 Sinclair Research Limited. But when you load the 128K plus 2A, it says Amstrad at the bottom. It's got different circuits. And it's by Amstrad. It's not an Amstrad though. You'd never ever see a Spectrum's on Amstrad. <laughs> so anyway, I think that's enough for that one. So what should we do? Should we go for a PlayStation 2? Or should we not? I turn this off. So that should be the spectrum off now. I was really think I was thinking about two things, right? I've got a game called uh, Haunted Grounds. It's a game that's actually it was worth a lot of money, and I actually own it. I was trying to find it. It's through in my, my my bedroom just now. Or either that's behind the couch. I've got loads of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and all that down there. Anyway, um, Haunted Grounds apparently is a really hard game to get now. I own it. And I converted, or I think I, I, I also had my, my, my game. So what we'll do is we'll turn on, turn off that, turn on this uh, PlayStation 2. And I think we'll start off with that. I'm not saying we're going to do a playthrough because I don't want to bore everybody. But what we can do, sorry, I'm trying not to burp. What we can do is play a bit of this. And if anybody else has any games they'd like to see, uh, pardon me, let me know. I mean, we could play, I saw burping, sorry. We could play Forbidden Siren, or we could play Forbidden Siren 2, scary games. We could try doing that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find Haunted Ground. Yeah, here it's Haunted Ground. Let's see if this loads now. I've got my, if you can see that. I have, uh, actually if I click on this.
Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yay! <laughs> okay, just in case. PlayStation 1 looking style graphic, uh, color, grey. PlayStation 4 controller. Spaceballs t-shirt. And I've been having problems with the Yeti as well today. Uh, when I turned it on, my Windows 10 said it couldn't figure out what the hell it was, even though I've used it for at least a year. I mean, I've had it for about six years and I barely used it. Uh, so yeah, the mic doesn't seem to want to freaking work. Uh, so I had to change the USB cable. Now it does work. So there must be something wrong with the cable. So yeah, right. I'm going to stop talking and let's put on Haunted Ground. I've not played this game, by the way. I own it. I bought it and never played it. I, I know there's a dog and you're a, a teenager. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, well, I said, when you're streaming music, when you're DJ, you've got one camera, you've got your audio, that's it. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have that, as in, as in, not a dick. <laughs> you, you don't have chat, you don't have a camera looking at, well, you do have a camera looking at you, but, I mean, you don't interact with people as such. You play your music, they watch or either listen to it. I've got a friend called Eskew Ron, he just, uh, he basically just listens, he's got an app, because he's got really bad internet, I think. He just listens to it, he doesn't actually watch it. So going from that to having, like, things go wrong all the time. You mean, I've got a, I've got a 5D Mark II, which you're watching me through. I've got my other webcam somewhere that I sometimes use. I normally use this camera, this one, on the actual, I, I point that at the actual consoles when I'm using proper consoles, like my Amiga. If you look at my Amiga stream, I think it's highlighted in my highlights. Uh, I used that camera for that and then I used my uh, webcam to show me because I'm not important, my Amiga was. <laughs> uh, I've got my Yeti microphone. I've also got an over there, you won't be able to see it and I don't want to turn it around because this place is a mess. I've got a headset with a microphone that I sometimes use when I don't want to use this Yeti. And I've got a second monitor and I've got a 4K TV which is just over there, you can't see it. So there's a lot of stuff uh, going about, you I mean, like are coming in now. Instead of just camera, uh, me, or me and the camera technically, which is one thing, and then music. So yeah, you're right. There's a lot of stuff you've got to watch out for. So I play trance music. Uh, it should be a couple up. Nightbot basically just said, yo, 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 Scottish is also a mix cloud. And um, my mix cloud posts all the stuff that I've played on here because Twitch doesn't let you hear the whole bloody thing for some reason. So what I do is I actually record my mix while I'm streaming it. And I record it with, uh, what's it called? Audacity, the free bit of software. So I'm actually recording it with proper software while it's streaming. Because when you're streaming, you're not getting the best quality, to be honest. You're only getting what it gives you like for the bit rate and all that for the video. And your audio is kind of cut down to like 320 kilobits or wherever it is. With, with uh, I was gonna say Elgato, with Audacity, I can actually save it as a wave format, so you're getting CD quality. So what I then do is convert that to FLAC or MP3, top, uh, well, let's say under 20 uh, top for MP3, but I basically then take them and then decide which one I'm gonna put up to Mixcloud, and that's what goes up there. Now, I probably bored you all with that. <laughs> so let's see if this is gonna show. So I've told it to play PlayStation 2, so, Here's hoping this controller is going to work. So hopefully when I click this button, uh, I've turned off the, do you want the fast boot or do you want to see the PlayStation booting up all the way? You know what, let's go for all the way. Now, I'm using the game capture option in Streamlabs. It's not always 100%. It sometimes takes a couple of seconds. So you might not he see it, but you'll definitely hear the PlayStation booting up. So here we go, let's see if this works. No, I think it's being a dick as usual. It's being a dick. Pain in the arse when this thing does this. So, that one? I had it working earlier. Now it's not one to work. So, uh, it won't be that one because, oh, it's moved. It's The whole thing is completely uh, screwed up. Cancel. Right, so apparently my screen has been completely screwed up. So I'm going to try this again. And I'm going to try to 
fix this problem. Yeah, this, the screen seems to have... Yeah, the screen's completely screwed up. Oh, it might have been me, though, that did that. Oh, here we go. Pushed uh, Control Z a couple of times, now it's showing. I must have uh, hit a... Oh, you know what it was? When, it's when I was in the Spectrum, remember, I was pushing every key. I must have done something. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come out of this and we'll reload it again so you get to see the whole thing. Hopefully. Uh, we want to get the ISO and we want to put the ISO, yes. There we go. Sorry about that. As I said, teething problems. It's only the second week I've been trying PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> uh, let me hear if anything's happening with audio. If you can hear the PlayStation, that's fine. If you can't, then... Uh, Hopefully everything's working now. Right, we've definitely got controls, which is nice. Uh, let's go for 60 hertz. Uh, yes, we want that. Oh, we've got gore. Ooh, and violence. Now, there is no audio for this part, just in case you wonder. Audio working? Hopefully it should be. Listen, I did test this just before I started, and everything was working. What I'll try not to do, though, is uh, change sources again, because that seemed to have screwed up everything. So I'm not 100% sure what this game is about. I think it's more like a Resident Evil type game where you walk around like a mansion or something. Now, well, we we did actually change the audio because uh, the spectrum was too loud. So what I'll do is I'm going to put this back up, go up to ten. That might make it a little bit better for you. That's going to be me earlier. Uh, earlier it's going to be me in about 10 minutes. I'll be screaming. I'm so bad with horror games. I was playing Alien Isolation and I kept jumping. The first stream went well, but when I went to the second one, I think my nerves was just all over the place. So, here we go. As I said, we're using a PlayStation 4 controller that looks like a lovely PlayStation 1 colour. So, uh, I always check the options first because I am one for having vibration off and I really don't like up is down, no, I like up is down and down is up. I'm an inverted controller person. So, start a new game. As I said, I've never played this before. I might have, well, I might have tested it just quickly when I bought it, briefly when I bought it, but I hadn't done a playthrough of this game. I prefer it. I don't know if it's just because I was brought up with flight simulator games, but it feels natural for up to be down on a controller. When I get my... I'm buying a new SCAR cable from a PlayStation 1. Pardon me, because the one I have isn't uh, working. As my last, second last stream on Wednesday last week, found I had to nudge it and hold it to make it work. So I'm going to buy a, sec a second one from Amazon. And once that comes through and it works, I'll probably start playing this for real on the PlayStation 2, if it's a good game. 
I said, I would like to go to proper hardware at some point. You know what? One game I really want to put on just now is Ico. Have you ever seen Ico? Ico is a bloody good game. I might put this on after this actually. Ico is a really good game. I'm lucky enough to have bought Ico when it first came out and it's got a beautiful art book cover to it. It might actually be worth something now because I think they were only printed for a certain amount of time and then they went to the plastic covers. It's like it's an art book that you open up and it's got beautiful art on it all over it and even the game is just a beautiful game So talking about games that are um, kind of worth a little bit, found out uh, recently that Robocop 3 on the Spectrum is actually worth a lot of money because it was one of the last, not the last game to be produced but or manufactured, apparently it's worth about 100 quid. And I still have my Robocop 3. Well if you want to we could put an echo after this. It's the same kind of premise I think, it, you, you wander around trying to do things. But Ico is a beautiful game. Or it was back in the day, at least. It's definitely one of these games that needs a remaster. It's the technically the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus, which was... was it Shadow of the Colossus actually came out after Ico. I think they're loosely based on each other. Now, if you haven't played Shadow of the Colossus, you've got a PlayStation 4. Go to the PlayStation Store and buy it. Honestly, it's a beautiful game. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is a beautiful game. So, here we go. We are a wandering girl in a place we have no idea where we are. So, it's tank controls. Well, it's not actually tank controls, sorry. Yeah, I'm using the left one to move her just now. Uh, right button, a right one doesn't do anything. Um, PlayStation 3, you can get Ico for that. Uh, you can actually get Shadow the Colossus and Ico on one disc. So, X runs. Circle doesn't seem to do anything, triangle doesn't do anything, nothing else seems to do anything at the moment. Can we sit? No. So it's got a, you know what, it's kind of got a vibe of Resident Evil and uh, Devil May Cry to it. Kind of, the way she runs or moves is like Devil May Cry would. Remind me to change that night bot so it doesn't show up as much. I put it like every 25 minutes. So can we open up this? The door has been blocked by a wooden box. There's got to be something I can do. So, the likelihood is we have to go through here. So, what I figured out is X is for run and circle is for doing things. So there's a, uh, there's a hole here, but it's too uh, far too small for me. I'm just going to say phrasing. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a dirty sod. So what I need to do is... Oh, go up this way. After I've checked over here. Right, so we just came from over there. So let's go down here first. And see if there's anything down here. So we can't pick up. Oh. Right, I'm trying to pick up these vases, vases, where you pronounce them, but nothing's happening. So if anybody wonders, uh, and this is just for when it's on YouTube as well, uh, when I was playing the PlayStation last week, I had it on proper 
um, visual kind of representation. What I've done is I've actually scaled it up to 1080 so it looks a bit more sharper. So I found that playing uh, the bouncer was being a bit of a pain in the ass. It wasn't, uh, it was quite blurry and it's quite hard to see. So I've scaled up to 1080 so hopefully that fixes these problems. So we're going to pick up something. Hey, a chamomile. Now, one thing you'll figure out with me is I sometimes say words the way they're not supposed to be said. I'm very bad for just saying what I think and saying what I read without actually reading it. It's not technically dyslexia, but it sometimes feels like I do have a little bit of it. But I've been tested for that when I was a kid and they said I haven't got it. I think it's just laziness, to be honest. Like when you're in a nightmare and you can't be bothered talking, you start going, nah. It's that kind of thing for me <laughs> such. So, let's see what's up here. Now, I don't need to play this for long. If if nobody's really interested in this game and it, you think it's dragging, let me know and we'll move on to something else. Okay, is this going to open? Bolt is shut from the other side. Not going to be able to open this. Oh, you can see a light. Uh, sorry, I can see the light flicker from the candles inside. It's too dark to see anything else. Wonder what kind of room this is on the other side. Oh, right, I was supposed to click on that to find out what's uh, saying. Uh, I can see it's just saying the exact same shit as it did the other time. Okay, so there's nothing here at the moment. So let's go up even further. Okay, is this door going to open? Ta-da! Accomplishment, uh, or was it a level accomplishment there? I just opened the door. Okay, I can't just walk uh, around all day holding these sheets around me. I'm not going to say anything about that. Uh, call me old-fashioned, uh, but I would prefer uh, a normal set of clothes uh, to these bed sheets. Okay, so let's see if we can find her some panties. Yeah, she just likes to say the same thing. So, let's see if we can find some kind of clothes. I hail from Aberdeen. <laughs> Originally I was um, Crawley. I was born in Crawley and then moved up to Inverary when I was less than a year old, and I stayed in Inverary until I was five, and moved to Aberdeen and I've been stuck in this hellhole ever since. I've gathered some clothes for you. <laughs> Don't go. My dad says that I was made in Scotland and shoved out in England because he was just. Uh, um, I don't know actually. <laughs> he just says I was made in Scotland and then popped out in England. My dad used to work for uh, uh, BA down in London, Gatwick. So he got a job offer down there. They moved down there and yes, had me down master. there. Although my mum was expecting me when we were, they were up here. I will make sure she stays comfortable. So yeah, so I would say that um, I've got the choice of being English or Scottish, if it ever comes to that kind of bar. <laughs> yeah, I've been here all my life, I would say. Yeah, I like to slag off English, I like to slag off Scottish. Uh, I think I have the right to, because I, I will say I'm a bit of both. <laughs> Well, I said, if I slag off anybody, I mean, I, I know I have goes at Mikey, it's, it's all in fun. I mean, if it ever becomes too much, I'm sure he'll tell me. But I don't mean anything by what I say. I mean, I like just, I just like winding people up because I've been wound up most of my life. Oh. 
Yes, change it to that. So to select stuff, you push you push circle, but to actually select options, you have to push X, which is very confusing. No comment on that noise. That's definitely not me. <laughs> Ah, it's bloody roast in here. So what I'll probably end up doing with this game is I'll probably save every time I can and if everybody's interested in this game I might, might come back to another day. So I'm, I'm not going to be doing this for the whole stream, uh, I would like to get through a couple of games at least so it's a bit of, a bit of variety because I think sometimes doing one game like this might be a bit taxing, even on me. It's not that I won't be doing games. I mean, like one game per stream. I mean, I did that with Alien Isolation. It took me five uh, parts. Yeah, five parts. So that will happen, but at the moment it's just not trying to get through as much as possible, but just trying to uh, show a variety of games in the stream. I'm going to stream for three hours, uh, or try to at least stay for three hours. I haven't raised quit yet, but I nearly had that happen a couple of weeks ago when everything was going wrong. <laughs> right, so that worked. Uh, what worked? She put on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now, now uh, but now what should I do? I could just find a map. So we need to find a map of the place. We should get our bearings. So we've got additional actions. So we can kick and we can throw. So square and triangle. Okay. L1's for crouch, R1's for back step. Okay, some objects can uh, be moved by pushing the left analog stick or the directional buttons in the direction of the moving, sorry, of the object you want to move. Charge. After uh, running for a few seconds, push the square button to tackle an enemy. You know, I'm never going to remember half this, so let's just carry on. Yeah. That's what I was saying to you earlier, uh, for like myself, I think even half six might be a bit too early. I mean, I, I follow a guy called Jamie uh, on uh, YouTube, his name's uh, Morgan Just Games. He does, I think it is eight o'clock at night on a Friday, every second Friday. And I'm starting to wonder if I'm not getting a lot of people watching because it's quite early, because the Americans aren't probably up just now, or they'll be going to their beds just now, won't they? No. They'll be... They'll probably be working just now. So yeah, because I've got a couple of followers that are Americans. And I got a feeling they'll be sleeping just now or working, depending where they are. Whose portrait is that? Yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, like Florida is seven hours, I think it is, behind us. Here. Can we go through here? Yeah, we can. But, I mean, listen, I, I've just started up. I mean, I've now got my fifth day follower. Thank you very much. Uh, but at the same time, you I mean, I have to understand that some people are working just now, some people are just getting home from work. I mean, I finished work at half four, which is nice, and I'm working from home, so I don't have to travel anymore. So it's easy enough for me to start a stream at like half six, but for other people it might not be it might not be as easy. Oh, is that a map? No. I hear a I hear something.
I think this is going to be the first time we have to run. <laughs> Do we have to run? Oh my god, he's literally itching his crotch there. Can we go this way? Oh, no, the door does not want to open. Okay. Okay. Oh no. What should where should, what should I what should I ah damn I was reading that. <laughs> right, evade point. Uh, right. So what we need to do is we can do closets or beds and hide. So what's hiding? Fiona's stamina recovers. Okay. So basically, when we're running away from somebody, we can hide to get back our stamina. Okay. So let's push. Right. Let's go under the bed and see if we survive this. Us, the bed is probably the worst place I could go because you're just there. So what happened is I'll probably get oh maybe not. I don't know. Let's find out what happens. Here we go. Survived. For now. <laughs> so this is haunting, haunted ground, haunting ground, whatever it's called. Wait. Shit. So yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> Never go the way they just came from. So uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a really good game, I think. I shouldn't really read the reviews, but I remember buying this game just for the hell of it. And it's a Capcom game, and I thought, oh, that'll be cool. And I said, I might have put it on just to test it, but that's as far as it went. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Tell us what you think. If you think this is cool, let me know. If you, if you think it's not, then let me know as well. We go down here. I'm so gonna get caught. No. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run past them and we're gonna hide again. Oh shit, he runs fast! Oh, you know what? It's the stamina's gone. Yeah, I think this is the type of game that maybe a long play might be best. You mean, instead of just testing the waters as such. But what I can do is, I'll wait until that guy disappears and see if we can find a safe spot. And if we find a safe spot, we can try Echo. Good thing is, he's going the way I'm hoping he's going to go. Unless he comes back. Shit. I was kind of hoping he might go the other way because I think we need to go back the way we just came from, where he started off. Pardon me. So, what we'll do is we'll have a quick wander around, I think, and then see if we can find a map. I think that's the main thing. Find a map and then we'll see if we can save and then we'll go on to Ico. 
so we've went down this way and as far as I know there's nothing else here that unless they can we break these things will it oh what's this what have we found medallion okay that's good so we can now we have the ability to kick So let's see if there's anything else we can kick. It might guess. Where? So I think yeah, we already tried that. That door won't open. So go back here and see what this does. I'm hoping for a key. Well, okay, I was hoping for a key there, but maybe not. Can we open up this? No. She open. Can we kick it? Nope. So, can we go down here? Just say, oh, that's where we just came from, wasn't it? Yeah. Do, do, do. Remember correctly, there's doggy cages down here. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. You never know, one of these things might give us... Might give us a key. Probably not, though. There's nothing else in here. Uh, nothing there. So I need to stop running because she's getting tired. Uh, this is going to tell me that there's no way to get in there. Yeah. So, what I need to do is pretty much go back to where that big dude is and somehow get past him. So, I'm just going to go back over here and see if we've missed anything. Because you never know. Let me kick this. So, what I was trying to do earlier was, I was hoping I could maybe crouch down here <coughs> and go through there, but she apparently can crouch down, but that's as far as she goes. So, yeah, we need to, we need to run past the big dude. So, one thing I'm going to have to not do is run when we're back up here. Because we'll probably need our stamina to get about. Is it not a creepy mode? Like, not a creepy mode, a creeping mode. <laughs> Let's go down this way. things we can't use at the moment but what might come in handy so there's a door over here let's see where this leads oh this way does this lead us anywhere nowhere locked typical Capcom the door is locked from the other side I think it has to be in like their paychecks is you have to put in doors that are locked from the other side So, let's go back through here and see what happens. Quite a nice game to look at, to be honest. I mean, for, for being a PlayStation 2 game as well. Although, saying that, some of the PlayStation 2 games still look amazing. Like, the bouncer still looks brilliant today. I mean, it's a shit game, but... <laughs> we go this way? No, nope. locked from the other side. Yep. 
what we should do is we should do shots every time that's mentioned. It'll be a very short stream, I tell you that. Are we going this one? Yeah. Locked. Can we go to the other side? Uh, no, no, no other side. Oh, something's flashing. We got a key. Blah 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 blah. What is this? Yay! We got something else we don't need. We need a map or a save. So we've just been there. So let's go down here and hopefully this big dude will not show up again. Can we pick up this? Oh, okay. So they're, they're basically showing you like, uh, looks like little miniature mirrors to be honest, but they're, yeah, they're not showing you the objects. They're showing you that kind of thing to de kind of define objects, which is kind of weird. What's in here? Oh, try that again. So, let's see if we can move this. Good old Resident Evil. Keep force in that direction and you will be able to move something. Oh, what we'll over here? Old equipment, but somebody's looking after it. Yeah, that doesn't look right, does it? Some kind of file here. Okay, I've got an old parchment. That thing's so going to come to life, isn't it? You know what? I was going to say that. <laughs> it's not just me that noticed that then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be that person. I mean, thank God you did that, because I, I, I don't think I could have said that out loud. Yes, it does look like her boobs like to bounce, especially when you go over here. Good old Capcom. No, it's not Capcom, is it? Is it a dead or alive where they just went total overboard? I want to see what happens with this thing. Okay, it's not alive. There's a slot-shaped hole in its chest. So, um, we can't, there's no menu system is there in this game? Uh, items. Okay, we don't have anything that's going to work. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I shouldn't probably admit to this, but I remember buying the beach volleyball game and somebody said there was a new th thing you could do to it. Uh, and I did tried to get that to work and then I realised it was probably an April Fool's joke. I was younger back then. I was a... I was a normal teenager, you know what I mean? I was probably in my 20s to be honest. So, I want a save point. Now, I'm not going to walk over anything that's like that. Because no my luck I'll set off some alarm. What's this? What's this? Woman with wings protruding from her back. An angel, perhaps? Open this door. Did you've got it on Xbox? As in, is it a patched version? Or there actually is a way of doing that? Cause I remember there was some kind of code thing you had to do, or... I can't remember. There's something you had to do. I don't know why I'm asking for this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I really probably should, maybe we should maybe talk about this offline. <laughs> I'll give you a private Discord later on. <laughs> hey, we found a save point. Cool, let's type in save one. Oh, it's going to be X, is it? Okay, let's type in to save then. Is that going to do something?
Ooh. Ah, I bet you this goes into that thingy mobber we were just near. Cool. Can we do another one? Can we do another one. I want to, I do I want to do a I want to do a poop. <laughs> one thing you'll find about me is I've got a really childish kind of a childish I can't say a childish attitude to some things. Okay, let's go over this way. Let's see. Oh, there's nothing else here. So, what we can do now is actually oh, let's see if there's any down here. Oh. So, I'm not going to stand on anything that's not right. Uh, it was in here, wasn't it? Right here? No, not here. Oh, it was back down here. I was watching Trista Bytes play Tomb Raider, and I was going to mention about Nude Raider. Seems she's using the PC version as well. But I thought, I'd better keep my mouth shut. So there's a slot shaped thing in its chest. Let's see if we can add this to it. Let's go for the poop one. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm gonna like that. Sorry, I, I, I didn't realize Nightbot had stopped your message. <laughs> It's just all good fun, is it really? We're not, we're not meaning anything by it. So it says this thing, uh, sorry, it looks like there is a regress, uh, recess, sorry, that something thin and flat will fit into, phrasing. So, what is that though? Okay, we need to find out what that is. It's obvious we need to have the right name on it. So, there's nothing else here, is there, that tells you what everything is? What kind of equipment? Yeah, I already read that. I need to figure out what this thing is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I think that is where we slot this thing into. The problem is doesn't seem to want to do anything. Nothing happened. So I need to figure out what the hell... Oh, is there something here? What a strange mark. Seems to be something about uh, that that makes me uncomfortable. But I need to know what that is. Okay. Can't do shit with that at the moment. So... There's something over here. A bird or something. Bird cage. Okay. So that's the typewriter. Let's type in plate. Actually, can we maybe do one without as well? No, you've got to type in something. So, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing just now. Uh, I know I've got to put a plate into that thing's chest. Unless, maybe this tells us something. Angel. Okay, let's try Angel as well. One thing I used to be love. One thing I used to love do uh, doing was um, adventure games or uh, games that you had to use puzzles. But now I just can't be asked. Try that. Let's see if that makes a difference as well. Yeah, when uh, I don't know if you, how do you guys feel? Do you feel that the older you get, the less you give a shit about things? As in, like, go and do this, and you're just like, no, just let me play the bloody game. I, I do feel I'm a lot like that nowadays. 
nothing happened. And let's type in plate plate. Nothing happened. Huge doll made of earth blocks the door. Should we try doll? Yeah, let's try doll. And we'll try slot. I think that's the only other two things I can try. Doll and slot. Do one more and they'll do slot. Right, see if this oh, see if this makes a difference. If we can't get past this one, I think I'm gonna call it quits for this game, because like I said I don't want to be spending the whole night playing this because it's not a playthrough. It's just a um, just to show you what the game's like to be honest, isn't it? It probably is better than this. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. Um, let's make sure there's nothing else. Nothing. Right. What we'll do is we'll go back in here and see if there's anything I've missed. Anyway, you get the idea. That's this game. This is Haunting Grounds, I think it was called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an Ico. Ico is uh, a beautiful game. Oh, actually, sorry, before we do that, what else have I got here? No, that's just, yeah, yeah, that's just stuff. Oh, damn it. We've got, we'd, it's the usual. I'm a guy. We don't read things. I know what it is. I'm being a numpty. I'm being a total dude, and I'm just not reading the instructions. Yeah, this way. Okay, so if I go back into here and then click on this, we have to type in that. Elmeth? El Emeth? E Emeth? I'm going to totally forget this, by the way. Damn it! Push the wrong button. Right, here we go. We got it. Get out of there. <laughs> we got it! We got it! So, let's get this done, and hopefully we're going to get a save point coming up, because... I've been playing this for at least 40 minutes and I really shouldn't have probably played it this long. So unless you guys are liking this, let me know. If you think it's time to move on, let me know. So it's definitely going to be here. Okay, so we can't get the key thing wherever that is up there. So let's have a quick wander. And I think that's the wander done. There's something over here. Oh. Smell looks like an old well or something. The opening has been sealed up uh, with a wooden board. Oh, no, I want to kick. Nothing there. Go this way. 
Can we open this up? Okay, so this is definitely not the way. Oh, we have a key. No, Beardo, since you told me about the tip bounce, I can't stop seeing it now. Ah, Fiona. I see you finally awaken. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Raising. Pull away that sheet behind you. It's going to be a doll, is it? Or is it going to be a corpse? Carving or something? Crazy. Will be mine, Fiona. <laughs> this is just a total uh, Capcom kind of game. What is this thing? Give them the creeps. Why would anyone in the right mind put something like this in here? Right here. Okay, so let's run around here, pick up the key. We've got the garden key. We've got a safe point. I really would like a safe point. Move this. Ooh, we can't. No. Oh, okay. So how about we do this? Apply. Oh, just enough force. Okay. So what we need to do is take a run at it and then. Oh, that didn't do shit. So let's try running again and. No. She doesn't like to run. Right. Let's try this again. So if we run from here, run, 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 run. No. Might be the wrong key here. You you run and then. So she does do it. You just got to get it right. Okay. So let's try this again. I'm going to run around in circles, and then... Yeah. Ooh. Can we check out the guitar? No. Alright, we've got the garden key. We've got a result here. So let's go back upstairs. If you knows. I really want a save point. And there's a door here. Does this door open? Door is locked. I need to find a key. Gee, I wonder if we have a key. Uh oh. What could it be? How's it going? So we're playing Haunted, Haunting Ground, it's pronounced. It's a Capcom game that came out on PlayStation 2. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, so we need to get away from this. Oh, we can close doors, okay. Okay, can we open this? There we go. So yeah, we're playing Haunting Ground and it's it's nice. Uh, I would really like to save because <laughs> we've been playing this for about 40 minutes. Apparently we need a, we need a map. Ooh, we need a map apparently. Something strange about the, the part of this part of the floor. So it's obvious we need to move this. Oh, nice one! <laughs> yep, 
You know, I've still got my Xbox. Uh, I haven't played in a while. There's a hook here. Maybe I should attach something to it. Use this, uh, use that in place of the doorknob. So, yeah, I've still got my Xbox. I haven't played it in a long time though. I wonder if that would still... I mean, I heard pr that the, the Xbox is prone, prone to have leakage. You haven't used it in a while. Yeah, I I opened up my Xbox box and the joypad had some weird gunky shit on it. I don't know what the hell it was because it was literally just packaged away for many years and something had leaked onto it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's probably a capacitor, but I I, I, I heard that you're not the, the, the Xbox is like a Amiga. You're supposed to get it recapped. So I'm a bit paranoid about using it. You know, I mean, just in case it's damaged. So once we find a save point, I really wish we'd find a save point. I will save the game and we'll go on to Ico. I think. Cracked plate key. Oh, cool. I mean, I mean, my model was one of the first ones that came out. I was like a day one purchase. So I'm hoping I'm not that type of uh, console that's got the problems. Pardon me. What about out here? I hear that. Sounds like something's after us. Ah, crap. So my one will probably will be uh, requiring fixing. Which way are we going? I don't have a map yet, so I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a map. You know what? How about we just finish this game for just now? And we'll leave it there, I think. Because I'm kind of uh, lost just now for what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. What we'll do is, I think we'll leave this game here if that's all right, and let's put on Ico because I, I didn't want to do a playthrough of this as such. I just wanted to show you a bit of it. This is apparently one of the games that's worth a little bit of money now. You actually own it. This is emulated for anybody that's joined us, but I do actually own this game on PlayStation 2. And once I get my SCART cable fixed from a PlayStation 1, I can use that on the PlayStation 2, and we can actually play this on the proper PlayStation. So that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, once I get that all fixed. So let's come out of this and let's load up Ico. So Ico is, it's such a beautiful game. Um, it's about a boy that wakes up in a tomb or a coffin of some sort, a, a stone coffin. And he basically finds a girl trapped in a cage. And it's about you and her trying to escape a massive castle. And it's a really beautiful game. So here we go. So let's do this and we're going to reset and hopefully you will see the PlayStation 2 loading up. Hopefully. It's coming up for about 15 minutes to nine, Beardo. I'm thinking you'll be heading soon, will you? Is it nine or half nine? Because uh, what I'll do is um, I'm probably going to stay on for another 45 minutes and then I will see if you're on. Hopefully you'll be on by then and I will read you if that's all right. As I said, you've raided me at least three, four times, so I have to do the, the same.
this is uh, one of those games that, when it came out, it just blew me away. Just couldn't believe a game could be so beautiful. You know, this is emulated, it might not be 100% right showing you this stuff on screen. But, this game is one of the other games that, well how do I say this? Like when Mario 64 came out, I was blown away that you could get to the top of the level and see the whole level. And this game is like that. Uh, there's been certain parts in this game where you can actually get so high up you can actually see most of the castle. And there's a part of the windmill towards the end. It just is it was beautiful back in the day just to see that. Now, I'm just gonna push the start button again and I'm gonna play a bit of this. If you haven't played Ico before, um I'm not gonna spoil anything, hopefully. But please get yourself a copy of it. I mean you can buy it on PlayStation 3 if you've got it. You can buy it with the Shadow of the Colossus pack. Uh, this might be on the PlayStation Store, I'm not sure, because I don't buy a lot of PlayStation games online, I normally just buy the disc versions. Um, now this is a rip of my actual game, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop talking and we'll let the game... No, I'll let you hear the game. If anybody feels like the volume's too low or too high, let me know and I'll try to fix it. That's my phone going off. Oh! 
so I think this is where we start playing the game in a moment. Here we go. So I'm just going to do a quick wander around because I have not played this game in a very long time. Right now, how do you jump again? So you enforce by doing that. What does that do? Okay, that's how you jump. Okay. Okay, so let's get up here. So circles for interaction. So yeah, Ico is a, I mean, it might not look like a lot now, but when this came out, it was different, we'll say, in a good way. So if I remember correctly, if I move this other way, I push that, and you jump that way. So what I need to do is find the ladder. Ah oh, crap. So the camera moved there and my controls changed because of it and I wasn't paying attention. I've got so many excuses for everything, I tell you. The choice of being a gamer for like, f what, 40 odd years? Oh, sorry, let's be pushing the other button. But yeah, I can actually do this if I want to. I can actually look around. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's how you talk. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do again? Something I'm missing here. It's been so long since I've played this game. What am I doing wrong here? Okay. We're getting to do something here, so let's just fall down here. Okay, I don't think we've got to go here just yet. Maybe we do. See, this is where... Um, oh, here we go. This is where I totally forget what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to have to do a walk, you know, I might do a playthrough of this game one day. I might even do it tomorrow. Because it's this... I, I just have so much f fond memories playing this game. Here we go, if you push X... Nothing happens. I thought maybe I could make him run. So this stream has not had any PlayStation 1 games, so I apologise if anybody came on to see PlayStation 1 games. We went from ZX Spectrum to PlayStation 2. My catalogue of PlayStation 1 games is pretty much what I owned as well. And there might be the odd occasional exception, like with uh, games that weren't released over here, like Thrill Kill. I think, that was, I think it was banned. So I've got that on copy. But most of my PlayStation games in this PC are taken straight from either my catalogue or I've got the Americanized version, which has normally got a better refresh rate, a refresh rate I should say, or it's um, in a better format, i.e. Uh, full screen, 
instead of having these weird borders we used to get with the UK releases. Okay, so what I need to do is get her out. So we're going to jump up here. I was tempted to jump off the side of that uh, bit to the left, but that would be stupid. So we need to run around here. Now I do have this in a higher resolution that, than the PlayStation would normally run at. It's in 1080 just now. Um, so you might have seen screen tearing there. There's just nothing I can do about that unless I put it back into shitty quality. So what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit more about this game once we get these parts done because I don't want to go and give away too much until things have happened. Just in case anybody hasn't seen this before. Saying that, I'm sure I just said something about 10 minutes ago that probably did talk about what I'm going to talk about in a minute. Now, yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a button to latch on, but he seems to be doing it himself. So, good on the team for putting collision detection. Instead of some of these new games where you go towards the ladder and they just fall over the side and die. I mean, just look at the, even the zooming of this, like it's panning around, look at the detail. This is a PlayStation 2 game. I mean, it's just beautiful. So, there's somebody up there, so we have to go and do what I did earlier now. Which is not go this way. <laughs> Come on, dude, why are you not running? So, there should be a ladder over here or somewhere around here. Uh, no, that one, other one. There it is. So what we do is we go up here and then do exactly what I was trying to do earlier. No, that's, that's, that's cool, Beardo. Um, oh shit, I said what I'll do is um, I'll be here for about another half hour and then I'll link up with you. Uh, I've got a couple of things I need to get through tonight so I'll probably connect to you, uh, read you, sorry, and then I might stay for 10-20 minutes but I need to get ready for... Uh, tomorrow and uh, I'm seeing my dad in the next couple of days in hospital so I need to get prepared for getting stuff for him as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run here and we're going to jump and I didn't push the button. I did push the button. Okay. Right. Let's try that again. What to do is Beardo, can you stay just for a couple of seconds? I'll show you this bit and then you'll, you'll get a gist of what the game's about. But listen, man, it's cool. If you have to go, if you're if you're going for a nine o'clock, that's cool. It's like three minutes past. <laughs> so we got up here. What we do that now is jump.
So, what I can say is now, this actually, by the way, if you complete the game, I think it's three times, you can actually read that. Uh, so this game is basically about uh, two kids trying to escape from a castle. She's light and he is horny. No joke, he's got horns for head. He's got horns in his head. And <laughs> he's not horny for her though. It's about him. It's about him trying to protect him. Her, sorry. And then you get these dudes that try to steal her. Basically, what they do is they try to grab her and pull her into the darkness. So you've got to defend her. And that's the kind of game's mechanism for fighting. So, pardon me, what we have to do is pick up this, find out where they are, and then beat the shit out of them. And then we can do this. Now, as far as I know, they're not speaking French. But what they are doing is speaking a cool language that I have no idea what they're saying. So basically, what we now do is go over here. And she can use her light to open up stuff. So she sometimes wanders off, so what you can do is you can push this button. And she'll go... He'll say, I also, it also feels like it says pourquoi, but either it says Bert, bonsoir maybe, but so they're definitely not speaking French, uh, unless somebody's watching this uh, in YouTube and they can tell me if this is French or not. So this is basically what the game's like, and uh, it's a beautiful game. I might do a playthrough of this game actually, because it is a very, very good game. There we go. So look at that, it pans out. You know what I mean? How cool is that? That's like Mario 64 type shit. <laughs> so yeah, the, to save the game you basically sit on the chair and oh, they both sit down. Uh, push the right button, Kevin might help. I can't remember what the controls are, to be honest. How'd you sit down? It's not that one. Right, let's take her away and then see if I can do this again. Here we go. And then she'll sit down and then we get to save the game. It's got very beautiful music. Cause Oh shit, uh, no. I must have a save from the last time I played it. So yeah, this is Ico basically, it's about you trying to defend her and or each other. I don't know if I can say defend her now, because now it is, now it is. So yeah, that's basically what the game's like. It's about you trying to get out of the castle together. And it's, it's just a lovely little game, or big game. kind of got a Zelda feel to it, I think. Especially the Breath of the Wild, or Wind, whatever it's called. But then again, then they take it from this. Because this, this game had this visual style well before it. So this is like 2003, I think.
so for anybody that's joined us or yeah, I, my thing doesn't work it doesn't tell me who's watching uh, this is Ico and if you have a PlayStation 3 I it, I'm not saying advise you because that, that sounds like I'm forcing you if you go to like the CX shop I'm not going to say what I call it uh, you can probably get this game on the PlayStation 3 uh, for I don't know six quid maybe I'm taking a guess and you'll get Shadow of the Colossus with it uh, this is the PlayStation 2 version. I forgot to take her with me. Where did she go? There we go. Yeah, it's it's well worth the purchase if you've got a PlayStation 3. If you've got a PlayStation 2, you can buy it on that as well. This is the PlayStation 2 version you're seeing just now. And it's just it's a very good game. So I might do a walkthrough of this uh, one, one uh, day. I was going to be with it tomorrow, but I'm, at the moment I'm not 100% sure if Twitch is for me, because <laughs> uh, I'm more of a DJ than a, a gamer, but I'm enjoying doing this, you mean, but finding it hard to get the kind of motivation to do it at the moment. So that's not opening. So what we need to do is find out there's a ladder we can go down. There is. Now, the likelihood is she's not going to fall down here. So I'm going to have to go down and come back for her. I'll go down. So, what we need to do is figure out what we've got to do down here and get back to her before the demon things come. So, you would stop staring and run. Come on, dude, run. Rotate round. Other way, and then jump. So that opened up the door for her, but we still need to get up there before she gets back, or before the baddies come. So what I'm going to do is, here we go, comes the baddies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force this box down there, and hopefully that'll help us. Now, when she gets when she gets hurt, uh, when she gets grabbed, it, it informs you. Just making sure she's shit. They're going for her. shit. Right, I need to go and protect her. Come on, dude, why did you stop running? What the hell? He's nowhere near me. Come on, kick your ass. Come on, let me go. So once you've defeated all these dudes, the black portal thing disappears. So let's get ourselves saved before anything else happens. Now you're going to sit down this time. Here we go. It's definitely got an Ico feel to it. Not an Ico. It's got a Zelda feel to it. I think. Sometimes you gotta hold her hand before she follows you. Uh, so what I need to do is move this. Now I don't think she can actually climb things. But we're gonna find out. Okay, she can. So 
basically what I'm doing is I'm holding down R1 just now and hopefully she's going to follow us. Or she's not. Ah, okay, I know what i got to do. Oh, wrong way. No, other way. Come on. The controls are a little bit clumsy. I see that I'm really shit. <laughs> we'll, we'll just put it down as the controls are not very good. But it's not something that takes away from the game. I mean, it is a very frustrating game at times, but I I just love this game. I really do. It's like Final Fantasy VII. It's always, I've always got a soft spot. There we go. So let's run through this way. Let's see where we are now. Go this way. Can't go that way. This is one of the reasons why I stuck with PlayStation as well. It's they always get the better games. I, mean, I love my Xbox. I love my Xbox 360. I never went for the other two because the PlayStation always came up with the better games for what I like. I mean, I love these quirky kind of games that you would never see on an Xbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep her close by, and then we're going to hopefully beat the crap out of these. So what I need to do is figure out where they're going with her. Ah, crap. Go, 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 go. We need to protect her. I think she's going to die. You have to pull her out before she goes all the way in, because otherwise, uh, game over, man. What's going to happen is there's still one out there, so we have to defend her until these portals disappear. Like so. Oh, no, they're back. Thing as well is, if you take too long, they reappear. Now hopefully, that's that. That's them defending. Uh, that's them gone for just now. I've defended her. They should disappear. Damn it! Why are they not? They're supposed to disappear by now. <laughs> There we go. As you can see, they start to go away, and we're safe for just now. So, what we need to do is not go this way. Or can we go this way? What we need to do is find a way out of here. It's not that way, it's the other way. Let's try running this way, and if not, we'll have to go back up the ladder and see what we can do. Is she going to go up? No. She's telling me she doesn't want to go up. So, can we do this? 
So hopefully this can be used. So let's go this way. Oh, we can't go that way. <laughs> So let's go back a little bit. There we go. And see if we can jump up here. So yeah, this is Ico basically, and this is what the game's like. It gets more less bricky later on, gets more greenery. But this is the first game of two games. The second game is Shadow of the Colossus. Oh look, I've got a save. This is actually my, I think this is my actual proper save for my PlayStation 2. Oh, so I'm going to save, right? I want to see if I can load up the other game. I'm going to end the game. I want to see where this goes. I mean, I'm, hopefully I won't spoil anything. Or me. It was one year out, it's 2003. So if we click on that... Ah shit, I pushed the wrong button. We just loaded up the one that we were just in. Right, uh, end game. Okay, let's try this again, and this time I'm going to take my time. Let's see where this goes. I got a feeling I've completed the game and this is me restarting the game. Just gonna skip all this. That's at the beginning of the game. So it takes about six hours to complete the game, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning of the game again. So yeah, that's Psycho for just now, I think. What I'll do is I'm gonna show you the intro. Show you, show you the intro to Shadow of the Colossus because it's got beautiful music. And then we will go and uh, raid Beardo because he, he's been very good to me uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks. So I'll find Shadow of the Colossus. Show you the intro to this game and then that'll be me for tonight, I think. Just end it a little, little bit earlier. We, we're near, hitting the three hour mark. So, oh, yeah, swap discs. So at the moment I'm using PCSX2. This is a modded version that can actually run the games of Primal and it can also run 24 at a reasonable speed. 24 is a game that can never ever work, or, well, or does not ever work with this emulator. Somebody found a way to fix it, which is very cool. So let's start this up. Right, so let's just do 60. Oh, yes. I'll show you the intro and that'll be me for today. We might play a bit of Shadow Colossus later on. Now, I have to speak through certain parts of this because uh, when I stick this on YouTube, it will most likely say you can't show it <laughs> with audio. So let's see if I can try to keep my voice low enough that you can hear the game music, but we don't get stopped for YouTube. It's a very lovely bit of music. Um, this might be out in record, in vinyl. It might not be, but if it isn't, buy the soundtrack if you could, because it's... it's a beautiful soundtrack as well. Now, as I was saying, this game is technically the su successor to Ico. I won't say any more than that because a lot of things happen in this game, even though it's just you fighting Bossai.
this is another game. If you liked Ico, you can buy Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, which you're watching just now, on PlayStation 3 on one disc. Um, you might be able to get it quite cheap. I don't know how or what they're selling for, to be honest. But they're they're worth it. Now, Shadow of the Colossus, the one you're watching, came out on PlayStation 4 remastered, and they did a bloody good job of it. Because the, the style is... Com I mean, the game still plays the same, but the, the graphics were completely redone. And it looks amazing. Not that's kind of like... What they do, they sometimes release a game and say, it's been enhanced, and it hasn't. They just update the frame rate and make it work in 1080. They actually went back and redid everything. slow down there. That shouldn't be happening. I know it is, I've turned off the turbo thing that I normally put on. I'll have to remember to turn that back on for next time. Yeah, that's definitely not running at 100%. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's uh, not running at the speed I thought it would. I can fix that though for next time. You know what, sorry, I'm going to come out of this. I'm going to fix it just now. So that that's embarrassing. <laughs> speed hacks, here we go. Uh, Take off that. We do is try that. And see if that fixes it. Resume. Nope. Oh, sorry about that. I was really hoping you could see that without all these problems. Let's try again. No. I said, this is a new build of the emulator that I got. So, yeah, that's that's really embarrassing. And let's put that back down to a one. Look at that. That helps. There we go. Right at the end as well. <laughs> it's the joys of streaming. What I should really do is stop winging it and actually play a couple of games that I know are going to work it's like from the get-go. Yeah, this is Shadow of the Colossus. Um, we are literally hitting three hours uh, in three, two, one, the hour mark. So what we'll do is we'll put Shadow of the Colossus another time. It's uh, another really good game. It's completely different from Ico. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, my view count is not working, so I don't know who's who's watching and who's not. I could be talking to myself just now. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go and find Beardo, and I'm going to go and get over to him. I think so. And let's get his name ready. And I can never remember what buttons I'm supposed to push to get into this, so we'll try video producer. Okay, it's definitely not that one. Does they not let me read? Now oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go and click on Beardo, 
We've now found them. We're going to start this thing up, hopefully. So we've got six seconds and then we'll go over there. So thank you for everybody that's watching. Thank you for everybody that's followed uh, over this last month and a bit. Very, very happy with the way things are going. Uh, I only do this for fun. Uh, I don't care if I get money from anybody, to be honest. I don't care if uh, my channel becomes a major hit. It might never. It's more just to show you the stuff that I remember when I was younger. Stuff that I love. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I'll say my farewells for just now. So thank you very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, thank you for re-watching. And let's raid Beardo. So if you're on YouTube, you won't be saying past this part. I'm sorry. Just the way things work. So I'm going to click the read button and I'm going to stop the stream. So thank you once again for watching.